This is Augustus Mausjartnak reporting from on board the MHS Hysteria. This week has been rich with the acquisition of knowledge. As you know, we have been stationed in Sicily, 1913, for the purpose of investigating the strange cult, which we believe serves the great race of the Yeath. Often Lily have spent the week inside the city, gathering information on the cult and spying on their comings and goings from their pseudo-masonic temple. Whilst the captain and I have remained on board the ship to research our findings within relevant esoteric volumes, and the combined fruits of our reconnaissance have uncovered a possible solution to our riddle. Initially, what little data often Lily managed to uncover proved disappointingly minimal. Evidently, the people of Messina don't like to talk about the temple or any of the going-ons around it. So often Lily had to gather the majority of their information from the city's library. The structure itself was rebuilt in 1783 after being destroyed by a devastating earthquake that struck Sicily. The original temple, however, had stood there longer than any historical record could recall. Stranger still are the buildings surrounding the temple. From what often Lily have gathered from the locals, those buildings are and have always been empty. Yet the records at the library state that they are owned by the very same organization that owns the temple itself. An organization called Custodi in Eternum, simply referred to by the local populace as the Custodians. It is clear that this cult's highest priority is complete and utter secrecy, which of course made things difficult for Afton Lily. Fortunately, my research was much more informative. I have cross-referenced this new information with the Unausprechlichen Kulten, which I might also mention that Professor Peasley consulted once in his altered state. Additionally, I have closely scrutinized the professor's records and have noted that he received several international packages, mailed from England, Australia, Canada, China, South Africa, and Sicily in August of 1913. And yesterday, Often Lily observed a strange man leaving the temple with five wooden crates. The captain and I have concluded that this cult is one of many that serve the Yeath in their captive bodies, and each cult possesses one piece of the machine that enables transtemporal consciousness exchange. Clearly, the man Oft and Lily spotted yesterday was returning the individual components to their respective cults. But the captain has an idea of how we can finally achieve a glimpse of the machine. And I don't like it. It will work! No, it won't. Ah, I must prepare for a potential calamity. I do not want to end up in pieces again. This is Augustus Mausia... Mausiagnacht. Auf Wiedersehen. Yes, it will. No, it won't. 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 Will. No. Will. No. Will. No. Will. No. Will. Your left nipple is enormous. <laughs>